Hello everyone. Welcome back to Edible Abundance Homestead. It is super late at night and I should be in bed, but I am in our uh, empty bedroom, which is completely not empty because it's where we pretty much store everything since we have no garage and no basement and no attic. It is also where our plant starts live. And I wanted to show you the grow shelves and lights that I have set up in here. This setup is new for this year. I don't think it's the best setup. I think I need more lights per shelf, but it has definitely worked much, much better than our previous setup, which was a table by the window with a couple of desk lamps that I had put grow light bulbs in. Um, so I'm in here tonight because my struggle to produce ground cherry plants um, has finally resulted in some cautious success. So I took some ground cherry seeds and I wrapped them in a wet paper towel. I put that in a plastic like Ziploc bag and I left it next to my stove and oven. So it was kind of probably the warmest place I could really think to put it. And after, I didn't even keep track, maybe two weeks, it's been a long time. They have finally started to get the little tails of their initial germination. So as soon as that happened, because they're in a paper towel, um, those little initial roots will stick into the paper towel. So I came in here tonight to plant them into pots of dirt uh, before they get too big and moving them damages those little roots. So since we're in here, I figure I'll show you my grow, sh my, excuse, my grow out shelves for lack of a, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I would show you the ground cherry sprouts, but they're already buried in dirt. So um, here, let's take a quick look at those shelves. Okay, so here we have my plant start growing area. You can see I have this, well I think te technically it's a five shelf unit. I'm only using four of the shelves since the top one has nothing to hang a grow light from. And then I have these four grow lights that I tied to the shelf bottom and as you can see that one on the bottom is down fairly low and it has plant starts under it that are teeny tiny I mean some of them you can barely even see from here they're just sprouting and then these in the middle are tied up as high as they will go you can see those tomatoes only just fit underneath them the uh, zinnias just fit underneath them that big bean plant over there is pretty tall um, I don't have these particularly well organized right now as far as height goes because m for the most part they're spending their days outside hardening off anyway. Um, I today it like downpoured rain and I had to run out in the pouring rain and bring them in. I thought at first oh they'll just get a nice drink of water out there and then I realized how hard it was raining and I saw some of them starting to get knocked over. Um, some of them you can see are still kind of a little bit knocked over, um, but I do think that they will straighten back up again. Um, it was just raining so hard for them to be out there in these little pots. Uh, so I ran out and I pulled them back in and I haphazardly put them back on the shelves because it was raining and I was rushing. Um, so anyway, this is my little setup. I think ideally I would have two of these light strips on each shelf. Uh, instead of just one in the middle, maybe one in the front and one in the back. Uh, you also can see I have these in front of a window and I've put the curtains up above the curtain rod. So they are getting as much sun as they possibly can. This window is kind of west, southwest facing. Um, it's Probably not ideal, but this is the room that's closed off from my kids for the most part. Um, you can see 
we do have some toys in here. These, this is where the older two can keep their toys that the toddler can't have because he would break them. So anyway, you can see kind of my setup here. Um, and then I also have a fan blowing on them here just to help. This fan actually at this point should be a little bit closer to them, but you don't want them sitting in completely still air. A little bit of a breeze helps a lot. There's a ceiling fan in here, but honestly, it's kind of small for the size of this room, so it doesn't affect the plants over here all that much. So I mostly don't bother turning it on. Um, and then here, this is where, in this bedroom, is where I've been potting up all my plants all spring. Um, and so here are about, what, 15 ground cherries? Um, the four that have the little popsicle sticks in them, I just stuck seeds in dirt. And then the 11 other ones are the ones that had started to germinate and sprout. And so I stuck them into dirt just now. I am determined to grow ground cherries. I'm probably going to end up with none or 12 and nowhere in between. And I'm not sure where I'm going to stick them. But I tell you what, if I can get all of these growing, I will find a place in my garden to put them because this has been a struggle. You thought pepper plants were slow to germinate? These ground cherries can get pepper plants a run for their money. Um, so anyway, here's my little squirt bottle I use to water everything. And a lot of these bigger plants at this point, I just take the lid off and pour some water into them. So that's all I have for tonight. Just a quick glance at my setup. Um, like I said, this is new for this year and I'm much, much happier with it. I think my plants are much, much happier growing this way. So thank you for watching.